It's a Q-Tip production. <laughs> Land use control and property development. This, this video. Land use is controlled and regulated through public restrictions such as planning, zoning, building codes, and subdivision plans. Private restrictions imposed by deed and direct ownership of land by federal, state, and local governments. The police power of the state is its authority to create regulations to protect the public health, safety, and welfare. State enabling acts allow, allow the state, state the state's police power to be passed down to created by a local government. Usually covers land use, housing needs, movement of people and goods, community facilities <coughs> and utilities, and energy conversion. Zoning ordinance are local laws implementing the land uses designated in the comprehensive plan and typical cover items such as permitted use lot sizes types of structures building heights setbacks style and appearance of structures density and protection of natural resources zoning classifies property by use and types such as commercial industrial residential agricultural and planned unit development which is PUD. Other ways in which zoning is used include buffer zones separating residential from non-residential areas, bulk zoning to control density, aesthetic zoning to specify certain types of agriculture for new buildings, and incentive zoning to require certain uses in development. Zoning is enforced through the use of permits <coughs> And an individual case may be considered by a zoning hearing board or zoning board of appeals, which may decide to allow a non-conforming use to continue. Grant a variance from zoning ordinance to permit a prohibited land use to avoid undue hardship or grant a conditional use permit. Special use permit. Building zones require permits for new construction and remodeling of or additions to existing constructions. State and federal federal regulations may add additional requirements. A certificate of occupancy is issued upon a satisfactory completion of work for which a building permit was issued. Subdivision and land development ordinance may be created by state or may be made part of local government's comprehensive plan. A subdivider buys undeveloped acreage and divides into smaller lots for sale to individual or developers. Yeah. A developer improves <laughs> land and constructions and constructs homes or buildings that are then sold. A plat map subdivision map shows geographic boundaries of separate land parcels, usually by showing blocks of land divided into individual lots. A subdivision plan describes subdivision features, including utility easements and compliance with zoning and other laws. Private land use controls include deed restrictions that are placed in a deed. Hold on. <coughs> uh, are placed or refer or reference in deeds to all property owners in the subdivision. Uh, private land use controls include deed restrictions that are placed in the deed and the conveyance conditions and restrictions CCNR is placed or referenced in deeds to all property owners in a subdivision. Oof. The Federal Interstate Land Sales Full Disclosure Act ILSA, regulates the interstate sale of unimproved lots in subdivision of 25 or more lots of less than 20 acres each. The law does not apply to subdivisions sold solely to developers. State subdivision laws may also apply to sales within the state of subdivision located either inside or outside of the state.